Kelly heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapon smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Darla Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stopkovich, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good help these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This... was a courtesy. Give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Kate Leeds. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking, the Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. Well, you were wrong. After all, power tends to corrupt. Why do you think it'll be different this time? Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office, an honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right, but however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone. News. It's time to put your life on the line for the resistance. You left me hanging too long. Just real people trying to get by.
listening to the bug. May cause nausea, vomiting and headaches. Hello Britain, this is The Bug, the show that holds up a mirror to the world and smashes itself on the head with it in despair. I'm Andy. Security here is state-of-the-art, quite impenetrable. Unless, of course, you flew a drone through the window, one of Mary's mouth breathers left open.
The recording device is in her security room. Getting there should be a simple matter of navigating the vents. What the fuck? She's using these people as house servants, against their will. Horrible in itself, but a million times worse knowing they end up as unwilling organ donors. This will definitely come in handy. You have a real fucking attitude problem, do you know that? Please, I need help. <laughs> fucking idiot. Do you piss everyone off the way you're pissing me off, you wanker? <laughs> Stupid git. See what kind of recording we've got on her. Look at this place. This is what comes of old crooked money. The Kelly family has been profiting from people's misery for a long time. She's got this shit all over the manor. So you've been in there before? Is that how you ended up in the basement of the Southwark incinerator? We needed something incriminating. So we decided someone had to get in here and plant a bug. I wasn't going to assign someone else to do that. You saw how Mary uses the people she grabs out of the EPC. And the staff's uniform's not hard to mimic, so I went in. What I didn't know was that she had intel on our investigation, my team. I thought going off book would stop the leaks, but she still knew we were coming. 
She tortured me for the names of my team. Tried to break me, but cops don't give up cops. Turned out she already knew the whole unit and put hits out on them. <laughs> the woman is a mind fucker. You're probably moments away from getting one of those chips yourself when we phone you. That's how I ended up on that butcher's table. So many reasons to want to rid the world of her, but it wouldn't be enough to just put one in her brain. My mates died trying to bring her to justice. I have to honor that.
you. Look what you've done to yourself. After everything I've done for you. You made me a slave. All of us. Please. Let me go. Take this thing out. Back to your old life. Back to nothing. Back to you. 2.5 screaming blighters in your dead end job and sucking off the dough. You don't want that, love. This microchip is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? And this kitchen knife, that won't do it, love. Cutting yourself affects my bottom line. You walk. I can't live like this anymore. No. You are right there. It's all right, sweetheart, because I have another use for you. Attention, are we? Good. Be sure and spread the word. You know where this one goes. Get these two and all the others over to the venue and ready for the sale. Right away, ma'am. Also, the foreign investors have already landed and the drones are programmed, ready to deliver the invitations and the coordinates to all the guests. Mmm, it's that initiative I'm smelling, Peter. Initiative can be a dangerous thing can be misinterpreted. Fuck's sake. This is insane. How did Mary get her hands on this kind of tech? It takes a sick mind to come up with killer microchips. Perhaps a diseased mind, but definitely an ingenious one. Perfect psych profile for a group like Zero Day, wouldn't you say? Her affiliations aren't my priority, Bagley. She's keeping these people enslaved. And it sounds as if she's selling them. This is huge. So that's what the chip does. The second you do something they don't like, they murder you and sell all your insides. Dead sec. We'll have to crash that slave auction. Get all the information we can out of there. The location will be on the invitations. She hasn't sent out the invitation yet, but when she does... Bagley, monitor the drone networks. Give us a heads up when Mary sends out her fleet. Until then, I reckon we're in a holding pattern. I'll get in touch if I hear about anything else that might interest you. Cheers, dead sec. <laughs> Since we're waiting for our cordial invitation to Mary Kelly's tasteless theme party, we can finally get back to what really matters, solving the mystery of Zero Day. Who are they, and why did they frame DedSec for the bombings? What do you have, Buckley? Glad you asked. Today, the great AI detective has two leads for his dog's body politic. Obviously, Albion needs looking into, but I also have a more unusual thread for you to pull on. 
there's a new hacktivist group on the dark web scene called the 404. But instead of being in it for the lulz, this lot seems to be in it for the brutal reshaping of society by any means necessary. Sound like anyone you know? Hmm, looks like I have some options then. I've marked both on your optic. Got a potential recruit for you. I'll mark them on your map. Here's something fun. I was doing one of my routine head counts, and it turns out one of you is completely unaccounted for. Probably kidnapped. Oh, hell. Quite. Fortunately, I took a look through our ever-expanding enemies list, and I think I've identified the culprit. Finding him should lead us to our missing operative. I'm onto it. This isn't a bad time, but we need your particular skill set for something. I'm all yours, Bagley. Let's wait around and see if this competitor shows up. A potential recruit's competitor is nearby. You could sabotage them by hacking their work emails. I've unlocked full access to the competitors' work emails. I bet our prospect will be happy to get their hands on that. Speaking of which, I have some exciting news about the man you just helped. What's up with him, Bagley? His network activity shows he's been trying to hack the National Health Service. Bloody hacker. The NHS is a hair's breadth from falling apart. One wrong move and it could actually happen. Oh no, a human hacker clumsily mucking about in a space he barely understands. Whatever will we do? All right, connect me to it and I'll sort it. Any hospital server will do. Copy that. User of satire to the already immovably concrete face of modern Britain. I'm Andy, <laughs> and I'm 80, and I can crack a free part just by looking at it. Can I? Well, what is reality anymore? Anyway. Alice, what do you bench? I, I bench body weights. Right. Well, not my body weight. Okay. Body weight of a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you don't need to give that kind of detail. Just it's very impressive. Work. People look yeah. at me and go, where did you get that baby? Yeah. <laughs> you are listening to the bar. Uh-huh. Yeah. The thing you're after is around here.
Another brave soul for our ranks. Welcome aboard. Hell yes! I'm ready to get me hands dirty with you lot. Fucking excellent. The thing you're after is around here. Hey, hey, come on, no need for that. The target should be hackable. Transfer complete. Right? What do we have, bags? Oh, look at that. He hasn't been exploiting vulnerabilities at all. He's been patching them. Looks like our hackers are grey hat. Go on. 
He's been particularly focused on exploits around the organ transfer list. Anyone who got their hands on these exploits would have a lot of control over that waiting list. Well, that certainly falls under the category of things DedSec investigate. Set up a one-on-one, -on -one, Bagley. Thinking about all the dangerous shit we do, our team could really use a dead sec doc. It's better than watching tutorials on how to suture your own wounds. Never thought I'd be back here. A real, live, dead sec operative in the flesh. I can scarcely believe it. Saw your work at the hospital. Very impressed. Thank you, but I've got nothing on Clan Kelly, sadly. Hundreds of organs are in their greedy hands because I couldn't seal up the exploit fast enough. Well, that sounds very not good. I'd go recover those organs myself, but I'm not really accustomed to getting my hands dirty. Like that. All right, we'll do our best. Thank you very much. Help me, and I'm confident we can work out a reciprocal arrangement. Use your imagination. Our Grey Hat has already worked out the smuggling ring's headquarters. I'm passing the details to your optic. I'll see what I can get me hands on. Who's this now? 
I'm here. Good. The stolen organs should be in an ambulance on site.
miracle. Now what? I suppose our friend would like it if you took the organs to a hospital, but you could also technically eat them. I don't have a strong opinion either way. Somebody show that holds up the Medusa of satire to the already immovably concrete face of modern Britain. <laughs> I'm Andy, I baked 480, and I can crack a tree in half <laughs> just by looking at it. Can I bump what is reality anymore? Alice, what do you bench? I, I bench body weights. Right. Well, not my body weight. Okay. The body weight of a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't need to give that kind of detail. Just it's very impressive. Weight. People look at me and go, where did you get that baby? Yeah. <laughs> you are listening to The Bar. In this week's Truth News, according to an official poll, 98% of Londoners are very happy with CTOS. And I am not sure that I agree with this, Andy. I don't think 98% of Londoners have ever in the history of London ever agreed on anything. You could, you could not get 98% of Londoners to agree that oxygen was better than breathing a fog of raw liquid faeces. And they expect us to believe that everyone agrees CTOS is better than not choking on shit mist. <laughs> Uh, well, maybe they just spent 98% of, of one specific London <laughs> who bought shares in blue before its tentacles green to every crevice of the country. I mean, this is this is not just any old poll, we should say that. This is not any any poll. This is an official poll, right in the very heart of government, not a knock-off fake poll of an elderly couple and their mangy old dog sitting on a bench waiting to die. This is an official poll. So let's just put those words, official poll, through an online translator in case you didn't study languages. Let's find out what it actually means. Made up lie. There we go. <laughs> Glad to clear that up. I, I don't, I think it's fair to say, entirely trust these official polls. They feed us, Alice. I mean, they could publish an official poll saying that over 99.9% .9 of children like ice cream, and I would instantly assume that all children now hate all ice cream and would prefer to eat a bucket of gravel mixed with dead badger. <laughs> they could publish an official poll saying that 10 out of 10 cats prefer cat food to being whacked with a tennis racket, and I would assume that all cats have gone vegan and were queuing up outside window and meowing, choose me, choose me. <laughs> I trust these polls as much as I trust someone recommending a movie that they watched during a breakup. <laughs> Your judgment is impaired, Sally. I'll make my own decision. The Bug. Objective voice of objection for a most objectionable world. Hello, Bugsters. Welcome to The Bug. Congratulations on your great victory. I'll let the hospital staff know about this special delivery while you call our hacker friend. Done. Excellent. Now those organs will go to the people they were meant to. No more upper-class hijacking of what should be a universal service. I know this can sound crazy and all, but I think you'd fit right in with DedSec. Yeah? All right. I'm in. Let's have some fun!
scrub all my data. How are you doing? I hope you don't mind me getting situated in your safe house. Crime marches on, and so will I. There are still cases that need to be closed, if you'll help me. I've got this. Excellent. I uploaded a case to Bagley. He can brief you on it. We're working with a cop. Are you having a laugh? Third on my list of do not fucking trust. Friends close, enemies closer. Besides, as far as Bobbies go, Lau isn't your typical filth. What's typical about a cop is that they're typical, innit? Way I see it, better a cop than Albion. Keep an eye on her, she might surprise you. Yeah, and with your lovely blind trust, she might end up surprising you, too. Dan Kelly's been sending a ton of crypto to an unknown party in Cairo. Something to do with Kronos X. What's that? A drug? It's a highly addictive psychotropic with a staggeringly high fatality rate that stands to make Clan Kelly a lot of money. Yeah, and because of how many lives? Well, the phrase Finsbury New Project keeps popping up in their comms if you'd like to take a look into it. The bar. Objective. Voice of objection for a most objectionable world. Hello, Bugsters. Welcome to the Bug, the comedy show that holds up the Medusa of satire to the already immovably concrete face of modern Britain. I'm Andy, I bench 480, and I can crack a <laughs> shit apart just by looking at it. Can I? Well, of course, we like it. Alice, what do you bench? I, I bench body weights. Right. Well, not my body weight, okay. body weight of a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you don't need to give that kind of detail. Just... The kidnapper is in the area, along with some other shady characters. You should be able to get your missing friend's location off his optic. Welcome to DeadSec. Bigger, stronger, badder than ever. Oh, yes. I'm ready, willing, and able to serve. Fuck yeah. The kidnapper is nearby, carrying on with some unseemly new associates. You should be able to find our missing operative's location on his optic.
Your comrade is now taking an Albion mandated timeout. You're up. Let's not make the same mistakes they did then. The kidnapper is nearby. Oh, and look at that. He's made some evil new friends. With any luck, our missing operative's location will be on his optic. position and guard the perimeter. Advise conditions. Sierra 42, Sierra 42, this is control. An alarm has been activated near you. Survey the area. Over. of objection for a most objectionable world. GPS analysis complete. I've got a bead on our kidnapped operative. Send me the coordinates. Of modern Britain. I'm Andy, I am age 480, and I can crack a tree in half just by looking at it. Can I? Well, what is reality? 
Alice, what do you bench? I, I bench body weights. Right. Well, not my body weight. Okay. Body weight of a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you don't need to give that kind of detail. Just it's very impressive. Work. People look yeah. at me and go, where did you get that baby? Yeah. <laughs> Our kidnapped operative is here. Mind the hedge people on your way in. Get her out. this.
I don't see anyone following you. Our friend is back in fighting shape, and another enemy of DeadSec has been thwarted. Nicely done. I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local board of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. Yes, I thought about this too. If we want to stop them mercs from stepping all over us, we've got to take down their leader. So what's your plan? Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. This is 404, the first peer-to-peer -peer hacktivist network. All are welcome. If you want to make a difference, join us. We're taking down the elite, one contract at a time. Found that on the dark web. Looks like all the cool kids are forming hacker groups these days. But this 404 might actually come in handy in our fight. If all are welcome, that means we are too. I say we infiltrate 404, we get their connections, we get their assets. If you play nice, they might even help you take out Zero Day. For that matter, maybe they are Zero Day. Only one way to find out. I found Street View images of a CTOS hub that's been covered in 404 graffiti. They're marking their territory like an overexcited chihuahua. 
dropping the location of the hub on your map. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's already here. Kind of detail. Just Very impressive. Out. People look yeah. at me and go, where did you get that baby? <laughs> Bloody copper. Can't be too happy about Albion taking over their patch. Might look into that. <laughs> 